National Security Minister for Trinidad and Tobago, Stuart Young, says that a policy decision concerning amnesty for Venezuelan immigrants will be brought to the next cabinet's meeting for approval. The policy will require registration for Venezuelans, a distribution of ID cards, and the freedom to work in the country for a one-year period. Correspondent Shamika MacDonald has more. National Security Minister in Trinidad and Tobago said that he will be taking a policy decision to the next cabinet meeting for approval on amnesty for Venezuelan immigrants. The amnesty will grant Venezuelans ID cards and allow them to work in the country for a year. Young said his recommendation would be that the registration of Venezuelans take place over a two-week period and logistics would be worked out. We have more on the registration period from Trinidad and Tobago Television a certain period of time for all Venezuelans in Trinidad and Tobago to come to certain offices, certain places. I'm, I'm looking at all of the various options that we have and they will come and register, walk with whatever form of identification they have of their own national IDs, passports, anything they have. The security minister also urged Venezuelans to come forward when the registration process begins. He gave the assurance that no one will be detained, so there is nothing to fear. Young said the process will allow the government to get data on the number of Venezuelans in Trinidad and Tobago. Previous estimates put a number on Venezuelans in Trinidad and Tobago at 40,000. A verification exercise will be done to ascertain whether all the information on the registration form is true. Young also said that any Venezuelan who does not get registered and are found illegal in the country will have to face the laws of the country. For Primetime Caribbean, I am Shamika McDonald.